Well, hi folks, how are you? I am um, hoping that this is a good time for some of you. I know some of you have dinner and things like that happening right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go live and you guys can watch this whenever you're available. I know um, tomorrow's probably gonna be pretty busy for some people and the weekend's gonna be super busy, busy with Easter coming up. So I just wanted to come here and leave a video for you guys to come back and listen to. And this really is um, something that is passionate, um, that I'm passionate about. It is something that I love sharing with other people just because I have seen the effects that it's had on my family. And when I say effects, I'm talking about the effects of essential oils. So we just celebrated our third year of being chemical free and we started our journey whenever my oldest son, Eli, he's now six, but at the time he was two and a half and Eden, my um, middle child, um, she's three now, but she was um, six months old at the time. And we were dealing with not sleeping and teething and night terrors and um, all kinds of things that um, are common um, childhood things. And I am a nurse by trade and I read a study that talked about a um, common chemical um, over the counter that can cause an increase of asthma and allergies by 540%. And that just really floored me. And I started looking for something else. And I started looking at my local organic market, someplace that I knew was the healthy alternative to things and they should have healthy options there, right? So I bought a couple of essential oils there to start putting them in my laundry. I had no idea that you could use them for anything other than just to smell good. And so when I found that out, we were dealing with an issue um, at home with Eli and he was just super hot and I was trying to use peppermint. Well, it wasn't working. And so I turned the bottle around and it said, do not ingest. And I thought, peppermint is a plant that should be ingestible. What is in this bottle? And so I really started researching and reaching out to friends and um, really trying to find um, what it is that was in this bottle that was um, toxic to where we couldn't ingest it. So that's when I found Young Living. Um, a girlfriend of mine told me about Young Living and how she was using it and how the diffuser and the oils had changed their lives. And so um, here we are three years later and we've been chemical free. And um, you know, it's, it's amazing to see not only my family, but um, other families be blessed by this as well. So tonight I'm just gonna go over some things and I, um, let's see, I am going to um, just spend about 30, 40 minutes here with you um, explaining how we got started and how oils work and that type thing. So, um, you know, where do oils come from? They come from plants, trees, roots, barks. Hi, lady. Um, thanks for joining. They come from uh, roots, bushes, fruits, rinds. They come from resins of trees. They also come from um, herbs. And the one thing that I thought was interesting is that a lot of herbalists love essential oils because they know how to use herbs and they know the benefits of herbs. But an essential oil is anywhere from 10,000 to 200,000 times more potent because it's concentrated. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, essential oils consist of over 100 different natural organic compounds that work beautifully um, within our body and our bodies just love it. Um, think about creation and um, think about how the Lord created the earth for us. He created the plants and the trees um, all for us. And so I'm gonna go into a little bit of how they support our body. So they support every single body system. So when you think about your body, think about your bones, your muscles, um, your skin, your heart, your endocrine system that controls your hormones. Think about your respiratory system that can controls your whole breathing, your immune system, your brain, your hormones. Um, it, so they support healthy weight. Emotions is a big thing that was an eye opener to me that smelling um, something like an essential oil can just change a mood or an emotion. Um, which is awesome when you have cranky, crazy kids and a crazy um, mo hormonal mama <laughs> from pregnancies to not pregnant to everything in between. So um, spiritual support and even um, stress support. So we have used this these oils for all of these reasons. And that's why I am here tonight is sharing this with you. So it is really simple to go chemical free and I will help you step by step 
the first thing that I talked about was the um, was the Thieves Cleaner, and that bottle of Thieves Cleaner Concentrate is only like 23 bucks, and it's something that I suggest starting with right off the bat because you can use that one bottle and one capful um, and put it into a spray bottle from the dollar store, and it'll make 30 of those. So that's what a dollar, dollar fifty for cleaner and you can make it as potent as you want but you can literally swap out every single chemical cleaning toxin in your home to live a pure lifestyle and you can do it without breaking the bank and that's proof of that so um, you know I've mentioned the uh, thieves laundry detergent dish soap um, even the beauty and skincare products the thing that I love about Young Living is it a it is a one-stop shop so I can get my face moisturizer I can get um, the kids uh, soap and conditioner and a uh, bubble bath and a, a whole gamut of things from my deodorant to our toothpaste the kids toothpaste to whole food supplements the whole shebang so if you've ever heard of the honest company Young Living is the honest company before the honest company ever thought about being born young living has been around for over 22 years at this point i think it's like 23 but gary and mary young are the founders and gary has been farming for over 25 years and he is the reason why young living exists and he basically has traveled the world with him and a group of scientists who are just down to earth amazing people and I've actually met some of them and um, they have scoured the world to find um, the best place to grow plants they've even found plants that no one has ever found like Dorado Azul so Young Living has a gamut of essential oils they're the only essential oil company that has the most vast selection of singles and blends so the thing I love about Young Living is they create um, a product for a purpose not a profit and that I love and what's awesome is learning the stories of the product and what that purpose was so it's just amazing to me and it blows me away but I love that um, I can get all of this stuff through Young Living and okay we're still live it lost me for a minute but here we go so um, okay let's talk about um, there are over 300 oils on earth, but you only need 10 to 20 oils to build a good kit. And I'll tell you what I started with in my kit. And um, you don't need to be an aromatherapist or a nurse to start using oils. In most cases, you just literally rub it on the skin, okay? And you either breathe it in through a diffuser. I've got a diffuser sitting right here beside of me. I'm breathing it in. This is a rainstone. It comes with a remote. If you have a husband or boyfriend um, that is skeptical, then get something with a remote. They always love a remote and they will dig it if it, if it has a remote. So um, you can even ingest essential oils. So um, how do they enter? Well, whenever you breathe them in, they're going up through the nose um, and they're hitting the brain area called the limbic system of the brain. And the limbic system triggers our emotions and it triggers our memory. So it triggers a lot of different things. And tests have shown that oils reach the heart, liver, and thyroid in three seconds when inhaled. They were found in the bloodstream in 26 seconds when applied topically. And people ask me, well, how long do they last? So typically they last in the body. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. They last in the body um, anywhere from three to six hours. Now they are extremely smart. So. If you put an oil on the body or if you diffuse an oil and you don't really know what in the world you're doing, you just put lavender in the diffuser or, you know, one of the blends like Stress Away and you don't know what it's for, the great thing is, is that the essential oil knows exactly what to do in your body and how to do it. And if your body needs more of that essential oil, it's not just going to spit it out in three to six hours. It's going to hold on to it. Okay. And what's amazing is you can find studies on um, pubmed.gov and it is amazing what you can find on there. There are also um, hospitals and other universities around the US and actually around the world that are continuing to do studies on certain um, uh, systems of the body, which is really cool. I love following that. Let me tell you a little bit about the essential oil history. So they are not new. I believe that the reason why you are hearing more and more about them is word is getting out. And people are just tired of being tired. And so you are finding people looking for other options that are working. And oils are working. And I can tell you that 
the testimonies that people come back and tell me, I still have my jaw dropping because I'm like, I didn't know it could do that. So, um, the history of essential oil starts back to Bible days. So whenever you're looking at Genesis chapter 37, you will see where, um, the slave traders that, um, bought Joseph, they carried spices of balm and myrrh. And you will find that even Jesus, um, Mary was given frankincense and myrrh. And so you, um, you know, you kind of wonder, wow, Mary knew how to use that frankincense and myrrh because that is what they used back in that time. Now we've gotten away from that because um, they were, you know, as far as essential oils go, you had adulteration, mass production. So anytime we had overgrowth of population, then you've got all of this um, going on. So you've got, you know, a watered down thing. And people quit um, telling the next generation. So that's, you know, a sad thing that happened. But then we see them start coming back around the time of, um, they were kind of rediscovered around the time of World War II when the nurses were using lavender and peppermint. They were using it pre-op and post-op um, in the, um, I forgot what they're called, but wherever they were doing surgeries for World War II for the wounded. Um, and so, you know, there, again, there's um, research happening year after year. So I'm going to tell you about the different grades of essential oils, because like I told you in the beginning, I was using oils that were from a store and um, the bottle of peppermint said, do not ingest. And it, that did not make sense to me. So I had to do more research and I found out that it was not the grade quality that I needed to be using. Okay, so the great quality that I need to be using was grade A, which was therapeutic grade. So it is made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. So what that means is it is not sprayed with any herbicides, no pesticides. The land is completely virgin and untouched whenever the crop is planted. And Young Living actually has a way that they naturally um, put nitrogen and nutrients into the soil without using any type of chemical booster. So you have um, that on top of knowing what seed to plant. So when you look at lavender seeds, oh my goodness, how many species of lavender plants are there and peppermint plants? There's, you know, 50 to 100. So how do you know which one? So basically the biochemists have to, um, tested and decided like at what what seed and at what temperature do they need to be distilled and when I say distilled it's like it's a steam process so they put um, whatever particles either um, peppermint plant or uh, juniper bark or um, frankincense resin they'll put it into a huge vat that about 10 people could jump into and um, they put a huge it's a stainless steel vat they put a huge lid on top of it and they steam distill it at a low temperature sometimes for four hours sometimes for longer and shorter but these biochemists and scientists have figured out the um, uh, perfect number to distill this um, plant uh, matter at and to yield the most properties um, constituents that our body needs okay and I probably maybe went over your head there but what I'm trying to point out to you is that it is very important that the soil is virgin. It is very important that there are no pesticides or herbicides. It's very important that the research is done on what seed was planted. So your little mom and pop stores, they can't do that. Um, the little mom and pop farms, as much as I love supporting local, they cannot um, do that. And the wonderful thing about Young Living is they have, they own farms, they also partner farms around the world. So we are buying local, but these farms are regulated by Young Living, which says a lot because Young Living has been doing this for over 25 years. They know what they're doing, okay? Um, they have set the standard, they have set um, the bar. And so that's grade A, that's therapeutic, and that is what Young Living Oils are. Now, um, they, I will tell you, there is no standard in the U.S. There's no set standard that has been um, set for um, labeling an essential oil. So you can find a bottle that says therapeutic grade essential oil, and it can only have 5% of essential oil in it. The rest can be fillers and preservatives, which is crazy, okay? So that's like taking a cup of orange juice 
and diluting it down 95% with water and drinking it and expecting the same properties. It's not going to happen, okay? So, um, it's crazy to me that it can be labeled organic and can be labeled essential. I mean, it can be labeled pure essential oil. It could be labeled therapeutic grade. And that just is crazy to me that the U.S. does not have strict standards. However, the French do, and that is the standards that Young Living um, goes by. They go above and beyond that. So, um, grade B is um, the food grade. So, they contain synthetics and pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, and some carrier oils. So, you've got some extra things hanging out in there. And why is that important to know that? It's because um, an essential oil is so tiny that it can cross into the brain and the spinal column. Not many things can do that. Um, essential oil molecule is smaller than a virus, which is crazy. So, um, what you have attached to that essential oil is pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, and these are things that cause cancer. These are things that cause um, major endocrine disruptors, meaning hormonal disruptors, immune disruptors. Um, you will find a lot of people having um, just major, major problems um, in their body attacking itself. So. You want to um, be sure that whatever you're using is pure and food grade, it says that you can ingest, which is crazy. So stay away from grade B. Grade B is not for me. Um, grade C is your perfume grade. So you will find a lot of um, perfumes have a base of essential oil. Um, and so they um, often contain adulterated chemicals. So it has chemicals, solvents, and the reason being is they gain a, a higher yield um, from the crop. So if they put a solvent in there, it can produce more pounds, more ounces of essential oil, and it will mass produce it. So anything mass produced, we all know, is no good. So solvents can obviously be cancerous, and they are in many store-bought oil, oils. Um, they may also be diluted down, like I said, 80 to 95 percent. So that's kind of like your orange juice that you're only, only drinking 5 percent of and the rest is water. Um, grade D is the floral water. And the floral water is actually for aromatic use and usually a byproduct of grade A distillations. So um, it's the water from um, the distillation process that I was telling you, the steam, the water. Um, and so the water and the oil comes out and down into a tube into a glass cylinder. And you will see the essential oil on top and you will see the dirty floral water on the bottom. They pull the essential oil off the top and they put it into a vat to be bottled, Young Living does. And then the floral dirty water that's hanging out in the bottom, other companies take that water and they put it into a bottle and they sell it as an essential oil, which is horrible. Um, because you're getting, I mean, that's not even 3%, okay? So, um, and they'll say that they'll, they'll put 5% um, in a bottle and then label it pure, which is crazy. So, you have to be careful with what you're, um, what you're using. So, seed distill is important, like I talked about, the seed, how it's cultivated. I mean, like a jasmine tree, jasmine has to be, um, uh, plucked before the, the heat of the day. So you've got like hundreds of people out there plucking all these all of these jasmine blooms and it takes um, thousands and thousands of pounds of jasmine blooms to just create ounces. So when you look at things like that, a sandalwood tree, it takes um, a 30 foot tall sandalwood tree, 30 years old, before they will cut it down and use it, before it has the constituents in it that our body needs, okay? So you're, th you're talking about the cultivation period is down to a science, and the distillation process is down to a science. So if you distill um, anything, peppermint, um, I keep going back to peppermint and juniper because those are things that I've seen distilled, but um, if you distill any essential oil, it, if it is off two or three degrees, instead of having 200 constituents, you can only you can maybe end up with only 20 constituents. So what do you want for your body? Do you want 20 or do you want 200? Of course you want 200 because that 200 is going to um, do what it needs to do in the body. 
So, um, Young Living's plants are hand weeded, like I said, no pesticides, no chemicals, no weed killers. They're harvested at their peak time and they have a vigorous testing process. And they come from the farm to your home. And I've literally seen that process and that is absolutely true. Um, so why do companies sell oils more cheaply? Simply put, to save money. <laughs> they can save money and they can mass produce and they can make more money. So if you spray your crop with pesticides, you have more crop to the steel. Simply put, if you use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you pour, pull more out, so you get more essential oil. If you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, you stretch the oil you have distilled. So basically, mass producing in mass quantities. So, um, and that's why other essential oils are um, sold more cheaply because companies cut corners. So, but when you're talking about a sandalwood tree that's had to grow for 30 years and all of that, I mean, you're talking about time yeah, and you're talking about um, uh, not extinction, but you're talking about there's not an abundance of it. So once they cut down so many 30-year-old sandalwood trees, we have to wait until the next trees are 30 years old. So um, there's no cutting corners with Young Living, and I absolutely love that. So how oils are made, I already talked about how much of... Um, how great of a deal of work it takes to get essential oils. So again, 60,000 rose blossoms will provide only one ounce of rose oil. And you're talking about beyond organic roses. Do you know how hard it is to grow roses, period? Much less organic ones that have never been sprayed with any pesticides or herbicides. So I will let you in on a little trick. They do spray um, crops with oregano oil. So, lavender is of course abundant, so you can get 220 pounds will provide about 7 pounds of oil. Um, like I talked about jasmine and the sandalwood trees. So to put into perspective um, how um, we get our oils and how, long, how time plays a factor. A little goes a long way. Most oils are between 10 and $30. Essential oils are sold in 5 milliliter bottles and 15 milliliter bottles. A 15 milliliter bottle contains about 250 drops and it looks about like that. Um, and each application is anywhere from one to three drops. So you're talking about 45 to 90 applications in a five milliliter bottle. In this bottle, you're looking at anywhere from 83 to 250 applications, okay? Um, and it, like I said, these cleaner is all plant-based and it only costs about $1.50 a bottle. Are they safe? That is another question that I get asked a lot, especially are they safe for pregnant women? Are they safe for breastfeeding women? Are they safe for um, uh, children and babies? And my answer is absolutely, they are safe. However, I want you to read the label. Just like you read the labels of anything in the cabinet that you have in your home, I want you to read the labels of essential oil because it is gonna tell you key things about the oil in the bottle. For example, certain oils are photosensitive, so you don't want to use it if you're gonna go outside. It's an oil that you would either want to use at night or you would want to use where the sun doesn't shine, okay? So maybe um, your back or something, or your feet. Your feet is a good um, place to put the oils. Um, when using on your skin, always watch for redness and dilute with a carrier oil. So there can be sensitivities. I've never seen an allergic reaction unless someone just absolutely had a, um, a major sensitivity. And things that can affect sensitivity are age, either um, babies or elderly, and um, people with um, already clogged up immune systems who have um, kind of that autoimmune going on. And basically with these folks, it's not that you can't use it. You just need to use it sparingly and test and see, okay? So um, oils are absolutely for babies, elderly, and for anyone with any type of autoimmune or immune system um, confusion going on. So um, actually, actually, those are the folks that need it the most um, because these can certainly boost immunity and um, just different things within the body. So dilute is the key. Dilution is the key um, because the skin is more um, permeable and absorbs oils more quickly. So with elderly and children and um, folks that you feel like may have um, a sensitivity to it, I always say start with putting the oils on the feet. It really is as simple as that. Never put the oils in your eye or in your ears. However, I will tell you if I've been using this, rubbing this on my forehead or the back of my shoulders, um, or even swiping it down on the kid's back or their feet and rubbing it on them, 
I may accidentally forget that I have it on my hands and then wipe my eye and then bam, it's in my eye. So simply take a carrier oil, which is like grapeseed, coconut oil, jojoba oil, olive oil, put it on a paper towel and wipe it off. And it simply comes out just like that. So it's called a carrier oil to carry the essential oil, okay? And um, it will carry it out of the eye. So internal use, Young Living has created a Vitality line, which I'll talk about tonight. Um, it has distinctive labels that are white, and you can easily recognize which oils are safe to take internally. They are graded as gross, generally, generally regarded as safe. I'm opening up a starter kit here tonight, and I am going to show you what is in it. Okay, and I love the starter kit. It is just beautiful. Um, I am going to show you um, the different oils here, and I don't have Vitality oils up here. I might have one in my bag. This kit does not have them. Anyway, so basically there are different labels on the Vitality oils, and they're white instead of burgundy or yellow, okay? So as simple as that, the oil is the same in the bottle. We just had to, um, Young Living just had to make, um, a certain organization happy by separating um, the labels and that's basically what they've done. It's the same oil. So you're going to get the same oil in peppermint oil as you get in Vitality Peppermint. So um, again, it's the same oil. What is a carrier oil? It is a fatty oil like olive oil or coconut oil and its um, molecules are larger than that of essential oils which is why it carries it, okay? Why use a carrier oil? Because it makes your essential oil go farther and it slows down the absorption, okay? So for some people, they'll have a sensitivity because the oil is just zapping it on the, um, zapping it to the body and the body's going, wow, what is happening? So a carrier oil will slow that down. Um, essential oil has to ping pong um, through the large molecules of the carrier oil to get to your skin. So it sometimes makes the skin more happy. If you see redness happen after you put an oil on your skin and you've forgotten to use a carrier oil, or maybe you did use a carrier oil, but you still see redness, I would say take more carrier, plain carrier oil and put it on top of the skin. I've had to do that many times for my kids because I've just added too many drops, which is too overwhelming for the body. And if I put more carrier oil on top of it and just spread it out with my hand, then it calms down any redness. So, um, let's kind of recap from things that I've posted um, over the past um, couple weeks. Um, look at the ingredients list of the products that are in your bathroom. Many of you guys have downloaded that Think Dirty app and you have looked through your kitchen cabinets, you have looked through things in your bathroom. Every day we put products on our skin and in our body and breathe them in. And of course, I've been saying here that many of them contain damaging chemicals. The average woman applies over 300 different chemicals to her body in a day. We apply 80 of those before we even get to eat breakfast, which is pretty eye-opening. And you know, it just comes from soap, shampoos, hair care products, makeup, um, skincare, uh, perfumes, deodorant. Uh, Young Living Oils have one ingredient, lemon oregano, tangerine, peppermint. There's no additives. There's no yuck. So where do you start? Okay, starter kit. Frankincense. I wish you were here to smell this. And for you guys that have attended this class, I want you to comment below, number one, if you have um, invited 50 friends to this class. I also want you to let me know if you have listened to this video. Um, tell me that you've listened to this video and that um, you want your happy in the mail. And I'm going to mail out to you um, some samples of some oils. If you are not already a Young Living member and if you do not already have oils in your home, I'm going to mail that out to you. Frankincense is one that we say is pretty much the coconut oil of oils. It is one of the top skin oils. You will find this in high um, line beauty care products and there is a major reason for that because it supports um, skin in the tender areas. It helps smooth the appearance of skin. A key ingredient of Young Living's Brain Power Oil. Brain Power is a blend of oils. Um, diffusing during prayer also um, helps to focus and also, my kids are being crazy downstairs. 
um, diffused during prayer time and it helps with grounding and purpose. Frankincense is amazing and there are over a hundred different uses. Just go Google um, uses of frankincense and you will find it. Um, let's talk about lavender, which is one that I carry in my purse all the time. And I will show you, this is like my oils bag. There's all my oils that I carry every day and lavender is right here. And lav this lavender smells totally different than any lavender I've ever smelled before. Uh, it does not smell fake at all. And you can definitely tell a difference in this one in any store-bought oil. So it is, of course, made for relaxation, but it's really, really good for the skin. Summer is coming up with um, being out in the sun. This is one that I have to have. Um, not only that, it helps with any um, pest annoyances happening out in the yard. So like my son was out today um, on a water slide. I'm just going to put this on his red shoulders, and it's going to soothe his skin directly out of the bottle. Um, because if I put a carrier oil to it and he's already red from the sun, then it's going to burn it a little. So, you can diffuse this. It's very calming. It's very soothing. My baby Emerson loves this stuff. She will sleep like eight hours with it. It is definitely a trick that I have up my sleeve. Um, you can unwind by just breathing it from the bottle or just adding a few drops to your skin. In a nighttime bath, we put it in Epsom salt. So, I will take a handful of Epsom salt in my hand. And then I will put one to two drops of lavender oil and I will just sprinkle it into their bath. And the kids actually like to do it themselves. But I do this for the baby. I do this for them whenever they're getting ready to um, go under the wellness line. Whenever they're showing me signs that they're going under the wellness line. I will automatically put the number one thing I do, not automatically, but the number one first thing that I do is I put them in the lavender bath. And um, it's very purifying for the body and very relaxing peppermint oil is one that really hooked me. I had a lot of just head discomfort that and a lot of seasonal discomfort. So typically this time of the year I would be dying just itchy eyes and all of the yuck from the yellow floaty stuff around and peppermint is something that I can literally just put on the roof of my mouth or I can put it on my forehead and it helps with any head discomfort that I may have. It also helps with gas, um, gastrointestinal support. And what I tell people is this is one that you put directly on the belly. Like you've eaten Mexican and your belly is going, oh my gosh, you just ate Mexican. Then you just take the peppermint and just wind it up, okay? If you want things to stop, wind up with the peppermint. If you want things to flow, you wind down with the peppermint. And you don't have to worry about remembering what I said there um, because you may get a little confused. But that's okay because peppermint is a lot smarter than we are and it knows what to do. Okay, so if you ride, wind the wrong direction, you're not going to get it wrong. It does um, promote that belly. Um, it does promote um, just a healthy gut. So it also um, is really good for this time of year. Like I said, and I have a little trick that I'm going to share with you in a minute. Um, purification is one that I use in my um, laundry. If my laundry has soured, and we don't use dryer sheets, they are the number one cancer causing thing in your laundry room. We use dryer balls. And I will put this onto um, just two to three drops onto a dryer ball, wool dryer ball, and put it in the, um, in the dryer. And if I have had a load of clothes sit into the washing machine too long and get sour, this is the ticket. It, purification is, it's just, it takes the funk away, okay? And I do not use fabric softener either. You don't need fabric softener. Um, <laughs> there are actually things in laund commercial laundry detergents that cause you to need fabric softener. So, um, you can use a natural fabric softener of vinegar if that's something that you would like. Um, purification is a combination of citronella, rosemary, lemongrass, tea tree, lavender and myrtle so you will find all of those oils in this bottle right here we use it for any type of um spray outside whenever the kids are getting ready to go out and it's about dusk and the bugs pest and stuff are coming out then we will spray them with this also if anybody is um like itching on the skin from anything um and i'm itching just because i'm thinking about it but uh those little pesky bugs that like to bite the skin this is great to put on top of that and it immediately takes care of that. 
Thieves is another blend that I had here in my hand. This is a 15 milliliter bottle and this is a five milliliter bottle. So I wanted to show you the difference and you can see that we use this one a lot. So I have a roller top on this one and basically I've put some carrier oil in this one. I have a roller top and I just swipe the kids um, back of their neck and I put it on their feet. So um, you can get a roller top for any of the bottles, but this helps support a healthy respiratory system and immune system. And that's why I do that, especially over the winter months and um, the spring and the fall. So um, you can also take this as a dietary supplement. Stress Away is one that I keep in my purse at all times, and I believe that it's down there in my purse. It is. So I keep it in a bottle similar to this. And this is a roller bottle that I just bought off of Amazon, and I use these a lot for myself and for the kids. And I'll put whatever oil I want in it, and then I'll fill it up with a carrier oil. So if I need to dilute something for the kids, then I put something in this type of roller bottle. If I don't have an empty bottle like this with a um, roller top. But I wanted to show you this because um, this is one thing that we definitely use, especially um, traveling and when we're out and about. So I carry a lot of these in the diaper bag in the purse. But you can just put your stress away oil right in here and stress away does exactly what it says. It chills you out. It is like a vacation in a bottle. And stress away has a green label and you will know it as soon as you smell it. It smells absolutely amazing and I can't wait to get some of these oils in your home if you don't already have them there because you are just going to be blown away. My sister-in-law smelled stress away for the first time. She came to my house not feeling well and she was blown away. She said, oh my gosh, like within seconds, she thought, can this be real? Which I think we've all thought that at one point in time. Stress Away is one of the top emotional oils. Lemon. Lemon is definitely part of something that we take around this time of year. And when I say take it, we put it in a capsule or we drink it in a, a glass water bottle or in a stainless steel bottle. We like to, um, we like the taste of it. It is from the rind of the fruit, so you have all the benefits of the rind in this. And um, it's cold pressed, so you have the citrus flavor, and it is also a key ingredient in Thieves, and I didn't read to you what all is in Thieves. I'll go back for that. But um, lemon definitely supports the immune system, okay? It certainly is, all of the oils are, are good for immunity, but certainly so for lemon. Going back to these because it's so awesome. It has clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary in it. Okay, it also has lemon. That's thieves. So, um, Cobaiba is another one that's part of our Fab Five, which is what um, we like to take around this time um, during this season and during fall. Um, Copaiba is like an enhancer. So it's an enhancer and it supports every system in the body. It's also a really great skin oil. But we take two drops Copaiba, li lemon, well, equal parts depending on how big your capsule is. Copaiba, lemon, lavender, peppermint, and thieves. We call this the Fab Five and we put one drop each in a capsule and take it daily. And you can take as many as you need in a day. Sometimes we start out with three capsules in the morning or three capsules spread out over the day for um, one to two days and then we back off on how many capsules we take. And we do that based off how we're feeling. So that is called the Fab Five. And then we just fill the rest with a little bit of carrier oil. My husband just gets that part and just takes it. Now, if you have children that do not want to take a carry, um, a capsule, super easy to put that same recipe of the lavender, lemon, peppermint, thieves, and cobaiba in a roller bottle, equal parts, and then fill the rest up with a carrier bottle and just swip, swipe their feet or their back, okay? I put them in those areas because that's not a place where they're going to touch, so they're not going to get it in their eyes, okay? So, pan away is exactly what it says. Um, pan away. They can't put the eye in there um, just because of regulations, but you apply after exercise to soothe muscles. It's very stimulating. It has wintergreen that a lot of people recognize. It also has a childproof lid because of the wintergreen in there. Believe it or not, you're not supposed to ingest wintergreen in large quantities. 
So it definitely it um, is good for um, healthy skin coloration as well. So I know a lot of times people will put this on their knees, elbows, knee, uh, back. So it's it's a really good one for all of those. And just a rule of thumb, if a bottle has um, the chopproof lid on it, it's not really one that really needs to be ingested. It can, but it's, again, the toxicity comes when a child drinks the whole bottle. But just a rule of thumb that I tell people that are just starting out, just apply this topically instead of diffusing it. Okay? Jai Jai's is wonderful for that for the digestive system. And I don't have that one up here. I thought that I did, but you know what? It is one that I think just stinks, okay? But whenever I'm having an issue with the belly, I'm having a little, uh-uh, walk out. I've got just underwear on. <laughs> um, I'll be down in a minute, buddy. What do you need? Nothing. Okay, I'll be down in a minute. I'm doing a little class. Okay. Um, so, um, I'm gonna wrap this up because they are needing me and I am just about done. So, Diagize is really good for supporting the digestive system. Add two drops along with a drop of peppermint to your water. I don't know that I can drink it. I'm just gonna be straight up and honest with you. Some people can, I cannot. I just put it on the belly, I put on my pajamas, and then I go to bed, okay? But it definitely supports the digestive system in a big way, um, in a very good way. You can also put it in a veggie cap if you needed to take it internally, but you just couldn't stand the taste of it. RC is good for respiratory care. Um, diffuse it um, just for the respiratory system, okay? A lot of folks um, need a little bit of support with the respiratory system. Diffuse for that comforting aroma. Some people will even put this on before they go do a 5K or a triathlon. They just say that it just opens them up to breathe better and it certainly supports them um, while they are doing um, their activities. So it definitely is good when rubbed on the feet, the chest, or diffuse. So you can use this any way you want. This is an oil blend of um, Eucalyptus globulus, myrtle, majorium, pine, eucalyptus radiata, eucalyptus um, citradora, lavandula, um, which is lavender, cypress, black spruce, and peppermint oil. Okay? So, why oils? Why did I go through this whole spill with you on oils? It's because you need them in your home. And I did not know that we needed them. And I did not know that we could use them every day. And it just... Um, been huge for us on going chemical free because no longer do I have to run to a drugstore to get something. Simply have an oil for that. And so you control what comes into your home. And if you really want to go chemical free, the this is definitely the first step to that. So, you know, I have went through um, the starter kit tonight and I'm going to tell you how to get it. And the reason why I share is because I care, you know, and what happens is people start using the oils and then they start using them, using them in public and people are saying, what is that smell that smells so amazing? Or what did you just put on your forehead? And so then you start sharing. And the great thing about that is Young Living gives you a thank you for sharing. They actually give you a thank you for sharing. Now, I don't know of anything that I've suggested someone uh, getting from Target or from Walmart or wherever I shop. I have not, there's a clothing store nearby that I refer people to them all the time. They never give me a thank you ever. Young Living gives us a thank you for um, cash thank you, for just sharing it with other people. And if you want to learn more about that or how to retire, how I retired as a nurse, please let me know. I'm going to send you something in the mail and basically it'll just tell you how to go from um, just a poverty mentality to a Moses blessing mentality. And if you don't know what I mean by Moses blessing, that is abundance above and beyond what you can even handle. And um, it's just amazing what people are doing through Young Living. They are funding adoptions. They are funding um, homes for people who can't afford homes. They are funding just all kinds of amazing things that just make God smile. And of course, it makes my heart smile too. So 
when you take care of yourself, you can fully do what God created you to do. So when you see what they do for your body and begin to kick chemicals out of every room in your house, it is impossible to walk into a home of your friends and family and not share what you know, especially when you see the ingredients list and the products that they use every single day. So it's really hard not to walk into their homes and look at the Blade plug-in or look at the fabric softener that they're using or their blue dish soap and not say, oh my gosh, you're using that. Do you not know? So again, where do you begin? I'll go back. You begin with this um, starter kit. And this starter kit is the only thing that is on the Young Living site that is half off okay so um without the diffuser you're literally literally getting 11 bottles of therapeutic grade essential oils for 70 dollars um if you were to buy these 11 oils separately i do have the stress away it's in the bottom of the bag here um box if you were to buy the starter kit okay um if you were to buy every single one of these oils out um, separately and the diffuser it would be over $320 worth so Young Living has discounted that down to $160 and that is just an amazing steal basically the way I like to tell it is you're getting, whoops, you're getting your diffuser for free which is amazing and if you don't know why you need a diffuser well because it is the most simple um, way to get oils into your system in like 12 seconds so it also comes with two packets of Ninxia Red, which is fabulous, okay? Fabulous. And um, this is liquid nutrition. I give it to my kids every single day. We drink it every single day. If I'm feeling just fuzzy or brain fog, this, bam, bam. If our immune systems are being compromised, bam, bam, okay? Um, there's a little more than two ounces in this, but you only need two ounces a day. Fab stuff. Bad stuff, especially if your body is like trying to attack itself, if you're having just some immune system disturbances, yeah, get on that bad stuff. Amazingly, awesomely bad stuff. Bad meaning as cool, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, starter kit, $160. Tonight, I'm giving you free shipping. If you get this before Sunday, Easter, if you get this on or before Sunday, then I am going to give you your shipping for free. I'm also going to mail you a thank you package and it's gonna come with some starter roller bottle, um, a dropper bottle for your carrier oil, some capsules and lots of other goodies in a bag that will be an oils bag for you. So if you want to get started, I'm going to post the link. Young Living has um, a membership program and once you buy your starter kit, you're a member for life, which is fantastic. To keep that membership, you only have to purchase $50 worth in a 12 month period. So I see you starting to use these oils and ordering because you're gonna fall in love with them and that $50 is not gonna be a problem. And that's it, that's all you have to do. So it's better than a SANS membership because you're getting something for the membership. You're getting all of these oils and the diffusers. So I'm gonna post the link and that's how you'll get started. You'll click on what diffuser you want. And I have another diffuser up here with me that I wanted to show you. I have two favorites. The one is the black one, that's the Rainstone diffuser. The other one is the Home diffuser. And the reason why I like these is because they run a good long time. So if you're wanting something to run through the night, these are fabulous. Also, the Aria diffuser is absolutely amazing. If you want the most luxurious feeling in your bedroom or your bathroom, go for the Aria diffuser. It is the bomb. You can literally, I have it in my bathroom and I hook up my iPhone to it and I listen to music through it while it's playing. This one right here is the home diffuser and I love this one too. I have this one in the baby's room. Um, so what you'll do is you'll click, click on the link, you'll enter in your information to sign up to be a member and then you will choose your diffuser. So the different diffuser options um, are um, a little different, differently priced. So this one um, starts at the 160, the Rainstone is just a little bit more, but it's totally worth it with the remote. And it also is an ionizer as well. So um, if you don't know what that means, just Google, up, Google um, why do I need an ionizer? So um, it also comes with bottles to share. And also um, you can either use them to share 
or to keep them in your purse. It also comes with a few cards that um, are share cards. So if somebody was wanting to try some peppermint from you, you could give them this bottle and a card that has a pretty picture of peppermint on it, and you can give it to your friend. Um, what With the membership, you also get 24% off of oils for life. So you get 24% off of your laundry detergent, um, your face cream, anything like that. And um, every single purchase that you order, um, every single order that you place after the kit is 24% off. And so, like I said, to maintain your wholesale membership, you only have to spend the $50 in a calendar year. Um, it, is, it is never, there's never a membership fee, okay? Um, that would be like purchasing two bottles of Thieves Cleaner, Thieves Cleaner a year. So, simple, easy to do that. So, I've told you how simple it is. You will um, go to the link that I'm going, going to post tonight. Um, you will select on Become a Member. And you will also, Screen 2 lets you pick out your kit. And it lets you um, add your mailing address. And Screen 4 collects your payment. And so, you'll be up and running. And it'll be heading to your house. And be sure you let me know when you order. Because I'm going to send you a happy in the mail. And what's coming to you is 11 oils and a diffuser and some sample packets of oils as well as two packets of the Ningxia Red and 24% off for life. So, why Young Living? It is to empower and educate those who are willing to watch God's creation work in their lives. I love that quote. So, if you're ready to get started, I'm ready and willing to help you. No matter where you live in the country, we have team members from all over the country that have joined our team, and our team is called Empower, and we empower others. We empower others with knowledge. We empower others with um, leadership and entrepreneurship. So, there are many, many win women and men on my team who are um, jumping through the industrial age to the new age of um, network marketing and being their own bo boss and entrepreneur and they are busting through goals. I have another lady on my team who's a nurse who um, within a couple months she'll be able to retire too. So if you are interested in any of that I would love to share. It is never an obligation to sell and that's the one thing that I love about Young Living is that only 9% of people who um, have bought a kit for me have actually become um, someone who shares it with other people. But the thing is, is it's so simple to share. But if you feel like that's not for you, it's not for you right now, just know that the opportunity does exist. So. Again, to get started, just click on the link. If you have any questions, let me know. But I certainly want you to tell me if you invited 50 people to the class and um, to tell me when you've listened to this whole video. Thank you so much for listening. I know that I've told a lot here tonight, but I wanted to be sure and get it all in one place so it didn't get lost. So thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night.